This is Fatima. Here let us discuss the ASP.NET Core project file in detail. Before proceeding to this video, please watch my previous video in which we discussed about creation of ASP.NET Core web application as well the different project templates that are available as a part of ASP.NET Core web application. .NET Core project file, file extension. If you worked with the previous versions of the ASP.NET Core framework, then you may know if you are using C Sharp as a programming language, then the framework will create .CS proj as the extension. CS for C Sharp, proj for project. Similarly, if you are using Visual Basic as the programming language, then it will create the project file with .vbproj as the extension. VB for Visual Basic, proj for project. But with the ASP.NET Core, the format and content of the project file has been changed significantly. Edit ASP.NET Core project file. In our previous versions of ASP.NET Framework, in order to edit the project file, we have to unload the project and also reload the project once the edit done. But with this ASP.NET Core, we can edit the project file without unloading the project. Let's see how to do it. In this ASP.NET Framework project, in order to edit the project file, first we need to unload the project. Then we need to edit the project file. Once we edit the file, we need to save the changes to the project file. And then we have to reload the project file. But with the ASP.NET Core, we can edit the project file without unloading the project. Content changes of the ASP.NET Core application project file. ASP.NET Core project file does not contain references for the folders and files. But in the previous versions of the ASP.NET framework, when we add the folder or file to the project using Solution Explorer, then the reference to that files and folder is added in the project file. But with this ASP.NET Core, the project file does not include any references for the folders or files added to the project using Solution Explorer. Another significant change in ASP.NET Core is that file system determines what folders and files belong to the project. ASP.NET Core project files and folders are synchronized with its physical files and folders. If you add a new file or folder in the project folder, then it will directly reflect in the Solution Explorer. You can see here. You don't need to add it in the project explicitly by right click on the project. Let us understand the ASP.NET Core project file elements. The main element present in the ASP.NET Core project file are target framework, ASP.NET Core hosting model and package reference. Let us discuss these in detail. When you target a framework in an app or a library, you are specifying the set of APIs that you would like to make available to the app or your library. You specify the target framework in your project file using target framework monocar. A target framework monocar is a standardized token format for specifying the target framework of a .NET app or library. For example, .NET framework 1.1 target framework monocar is .NET 1.1. For the .NET core framework 2.2 SDK, the target framework monocar is .NET core app 2.2. 
As you know, we have selected .NET Core 2.2 SDK. So the target framework monocore of the .NET Core 2.2 is .NET Core App 2.2. The .NET Core hosting model element of the project file is used to specify how we are going to host the ASP.NET Core application. The values for this ASP.NET Core hosting model are in process or out of process. It is out of process by default. The value of in process specifies that we want to use in process hosting model that is host our ASP.NET application in IAS web server worker process w3wp.exe. The value of out of process specifies that we want to use the out of process hosting model that is forward the web request to the backend ASP.NET core app running the crystal server. Reference. As the name implies, this element is used to include a reference to all the NuGet packages that are installed for your application. At the moment, in the project file, we have two NuGet packages, Microsoft.ASP.NetCore.App, Microsoft.ASP.NetCore.Razor.Design. Let us discuss this little. Microsoft.ASP.NetCore.App this new get package is also called as meta package meta package has no content of its own but it is a list of dependencies you can find this meta package in the solution explorer under the new get which in turn under the dependencies when you expand the meta package you will find all the dependencies there is no version number on the meta package when the version is not specified an implicit version is specified by the SDK the .NET Core team recommends relying on the implicit version specified by the SDK and not explicitly setting the version number on this package reference ASP.NET Core dot Design Package Reference. This package contains MS Build support for Razor, and it also referenced by Microsoft dot ASP.NET Core dot App Meta Package. Hope you enjoyed this video. Our next video is about main method in the ASP.NET Core project. Thank you.